For the first lesson in our statistical displays unit, we are going to look at dot plots. So dot plots are a distribution of data values where each data value is shown as a dot above a number line. So like the name says, we're plotting dots. Thinking back to our inequalities unit and our comparing rational numbers unit, uh, we are going to be answering some questions where we need to remember what the different symbols mean. Less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. So you can use this little cheat sheet to help you. So let's look at the first problem. Mrs. Williams asked her students how many school projects they had this trimester. The results are shown below. So their answers, the number answer they're given is in response to the number of projects they have. So these numbers here are representing the number of projects. And then the dots are representing the number of students. Okay. So how many students had more than four projects? So more than, if we look on here, means greater than. So it's not including four. I'm going to highlight that, though. More than four. So the symbol is greater than four. So it doesn't include four. How many are higher than four? One. What was the most amount of projects a student had? So here, we're looking for the most projects. So this is representing the projects. The highest number that we see for projects is five. What response was given most? So now the responses are the dots. So we're looking at where do I see the most dots? I see three, I see four, I see three, I see two, I see one. So the spot that has the most, four, was for the number two. So two projects was given the most. How many students had two or less projects? So that's kind of the same thing as saying less than or equal to. So we want to see where is it less than or equal to two. So two is included and anything less than it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Are there any outliers in the data set? So do we see a gap and then another dot? No, they're all clustered together. So no, which means we don't have to list what the outlier is. And then we're going to go back to the last unit, which was finding the median, finding the mean. So the nice thing about finding the median given this chart is it's already put in order from least to greatest. So either I can use these dots here to find it, or if I want to list out the values, I can. So if I want, I can just use my dots and I can cross off lowest, highest, lowest, highest, lowest, highest, lowest, highest, lowest, highest, lowest, highest. That leaves me with the number in the middle is two. So that is our median. I could have also went through and listed out. I have three ones. I have four twos. I have three threes. Two fours and a five. And then from there, I could have found my median as well. For the mean, same thing applies. Either I'm just using the dots as I'm counting out or I can list it and then add. All I'm doing then is calculating. The mean, we're adding these up. So I have three ones. I have four twos. I have three threes. I have two fours. And I have one five, which is 33 for the mean. We're dividing not by two, we're dividing by the number of values. Well, let's count how many dots we added up. We added one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we're doing 33 divided by 13, which is 2.538 and so on and so on, 
I'm going to round to the nearest tenth, which is going to be 2.5. All right, let's try another. The daily high temperatures for Vernon Hills in the month of May are listed below. How many days was the temperature recorded? So let's remember the daily high temperature. So what we were collecting data on was temperature. So these numbers here are talking about the temp. And our dots are talking about the days. So how many days was the temperature recorded? Well, we need to count how many dots there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. How many days had a temperature of at least 70? I'm highlighting at least, circling 70. If I look on my chart, at least tells me greater than or equal to. So we're saying, where was it greater than or equal to 70? So 70 is included and anything bigger, which is to the right. So counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. How many days had a temperature of 73 degrees or less? So equal to 73 or less than that. So less than or equal to 73. So 73 is included and anything less than it. So we're counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. What temperature, so the temp that occurred the most often. So I'm looking at my temperature Seeing where do I see the most dots? I see the most dots here on 72. So 72 occurred the most often. It occurred one, two, three, four, five times. Are there any outliers in the data set? Mm, you could maybe say that 68 is, but it's not really far enough out. If I saw something like all the way over here, probably I would say, or way up here, but that's still pretty close. So I'm gonna say no and not list what the outlier is. And then just like we were doing before, finding the median. So I can use this dot plot to do it or I can write out what the values are. So let's use the dot plot first. So 68 is my lowest, highest, 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 lowest, highest. I am left with 72 for the median. I can double check as well. If I go backwards this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I have eight dots. If I go this way, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that fell right in the middle. Just like on the last one, you could just list them out instead. You have 68, you have a 70, you have two 71s, you have five 72s. You have two 73s. You have three 74s. A 75. And two 76. So you don't have to list them out, but you can if you want. And then our mean, we're going to add those up. So first, plug it into my calculator. We've got 68 plus a 70 plus two 71s plus five 72s plus two 73s plus three 74s plus one 75 and two 76s. I get 1,235. And I'm dividing by how many dots were there? Well, we already calculated it here, but you could count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I'm going to divide 1,235 divided by 17, and I get 
four, seven, and so on. I'm gonna round that to the nearest tenth. So my four says I'm gonna keep my six a six, so 72.6.